Hi guys, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 3 Pets. Uh, Rags is very upset at his at his dishwasher over here. I know, Rags, it's okay. <gasps> You're on the counter! Shoe off! Oh my god, my cats are not allowed on the counter. Shoe Harper off! Oh my god, Harper, how could you do that? <laughs> Rags is getting a phone call. Oh, I also wanted share... No, we're not going to share cooking tips. I'm going to have... Um, Fiona, go upstairs and take care of Iris. Oh, look at uh, Eleanor in here. She's playing with her little table. I haven't seen her do that yet. Okay, so I think in the last episode, we left off with Connor and Hesper. And I was kind of having, having them do this thing where I was gonna have them um, go like out to a movie. I was gonna have them go on this really cute date. So the movie... Oh show's almost over and there isn't one at 5 p.m because it's a saturday so they do them at 12 o'clock is there like i wonder if there's like a like a no there's no concert or anything going on shit um let me give this some thought here let's see <laughs> uh let's go to a bar <laughs> at the middle of the day let's go to a bar also let's have fiona go over to um Let's have Fiona go over to... Oh, she needs to fill Brian's food. What is Rags doing? Why can't Rags... Oh, Rags is working out. <gasps> Buckley. By the way, I don't know why Buckley is still here. By the, uh, He's been here all day long. He's been here all night. I think he's been here for two days so far. I, I think he's just moved in with us at this point, which I'm fine with. I think he's a very cute dog, and I want him and Daphne to have many puppies together. I'm gonna have them try and really raise their relationship a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna have Fiona, before she goes and heads out to the equestrian center, I'm gonna have her go and use the restroom. And Rags, can he push himself, could, like, and hurry up? Actually, can kids change, fill the food? I think they can clean it. I don't think that they can fill the food, though, which is very unfortunate. Oh, <gasps> they can fill the food. Oh my god, thank god. I was, like, wondering if when Eleanor would start being useful. <laughs> that's a joke that's a joke she's she's useful sometimes um okay so these guys are heading off to the bar together one of one out of two of the only bars in town where is everybody not here that's for sure there must be a place nearby that's more happening yeah right across the street wow this place is so dead there's not even a mixologist are you serious how is that possible Okay, well, I guess we'll go across the street then fine. I'll just go over there. That's actually the hot spot where it's nice. So it's whatever. I also like this a lot, a little, this lot a little bit more because this has that uh, poker table from the Sims 3 store in it and I really like that. So we'll probably go and gamble or something with Connor. It seems to be a fun activity. Um, Play blackjack? Should we do a hundred dollar? Let's do a bigger buy-in. Let, let's do a 500 simoleon buy-in. One thing I don't like about this lot though is why is there classical music playing at this bar that's supposed to be like m like a saloon you know there should be like country music playing on the on the speakers but there's not it's like really i don't know it's so strange okay these two are out here oh my god that's so cute i love them when they interact like that uh she needs to go i think we're gonna miss the fucking i think we're gonna miss competing i think we're gonna actually miss competing or not my mouse is like not set up to play the sims right now i have to like change the profile there we go so i can use my mouse buttons to change the speed of the game if you have a mouse that has buttons on the side and you can rebind those buttons to change it to like numerical one and numerical three i would highly suggest it because i have my other hand in my pocket right now like staying warm because it's freaking i don't know really cold outside and i'm using my mouse buttons to change change speed one and speed three i don't want to do that too much though because it like fucks up my game makes my shit so laggy it, did i uh it's a little bit late oh no okay we can still enter <gasps> yes fantastic all right we're gonna go enter an international racing competition hopefully they can get over there on time although aster is a really 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 fast horse so, so they should be able to get over there but all right gonna run over there right now have fun, Fiona. Why am I losing money? Oh, it's because she's ch uh, changing the food. Oh my god, I love how they pull like a little stool out. That's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. What is Buckley doing, by the way? Oh, <gasps> he's. Oh my god, this is so cool. He's cleaning his toes, and my dog actually does that in real life. I think that the um, idling, you know, when like animals are just staying still, not doing anything, 
I think that those interactions are really, really accurate. I really enjoy the uh, quote-unquote idol animations. I think they're nice. Um, so Rags just got pumped or something like that. I don't know what he's doing, but I'm gonna have him go and use the toilet, go and take a shower. And, um, oh, looks like he got, he got pumped too. So I think he increased his, like, fitness or, like, his, uh, muscle that's what i meant to say is muscle because he's looking very very buff right now i won't even lie are they did they not make it oh they made it in time it's time for the running of the strange town derby as Serena by fiona bell is at the post and we're ready for the star awesome oh these two are just chilling playing some blackjack together i'm gonna make sure that we let's go take risks i guess I really want them to win first because we have this oh she's third right now uh, we have this opportunity win five international racing competitions we have had this i i said it a couple episodes ago but i would like to um see how many episodes we've had this want because i think it's been at least 15 episodes we have had this this wish to win five international racing competitions and i still want to do it yes i, I that's my goal but obviously astro keeps getting second i don't know if it's because his age i don't know if it's because i'm not changing up his pace enough or what but yeah he keeps getting second it looks like he's about to win second again which is so disappointing also i'm gonna quickly have Hesper, go and take care of Iris. I'm ready for Iris to age up to a toddler, if I'm being honest with you guys. Like, having her be a child is, not gonna lie, kind of annoying. <laughs> I feel like we do nothing. <laughs> like, children or babies do nothing in in The Sims 3. Oh, there we go. Okay. She got first. She has first. She has first. She has first. Okay, keep first place. For the love of God, please keep first place. I'm begging you, Fiona. It's not like... We haven't won first place before. They've won first place three times before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, three out of five times they've, they've won it. So if this could be the fourth, and then maybe at the end of this episode or like tomorrow in game, um, we can co finally complete this wish because this gives me a thousand points and that's, that's kind of a lot. She has 68k points right now. So yeah, she got first. Yay. So Aster written by Fiona Bell has placed first in the Strange Town Derby in addition to prize money, blah, 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 blah. Uh, she just got promoted in her in her job so she is a level six as a horsewoman right now which is good and i'm gonna have them all both head home um and then i'm gonna head back over to hesper because these guys have been sitting here gambling for the longest time and i have not been paying much attention to them so i'm going to go to connor who by the way seems to be done with hesper's shit of just gambling like he wants attention i'm gonna have him go and watch the stars together first he's gonna give him a little embrace did he make money Oh, he made 50 simoleons. It's actually nice. I don't think that the gambling in Sims 3 is very much reliable, much like in real life. I like how realistic it is. Why are you crying? I guess he must have lost some money or something, but yeah, he's even. I mean, he broke even, right? He started, he's, he started where he ended, so... Hasper just broke even playing blackjack not too shabby i don't know if he has i don't think he has any um gambling skill or anything like that i think you get the gambling skill from the slot machines which is weird that gambling is a skill like i don't know whose choice that was but it i don't know it's kind of weird like obviously gambling in your life is completely completely luck based especially blackjack like blackjack is very much so luck based so i'm surprised that um they made gambling a skill also because gambling in some cultures and some religions is like um is banned like so i think some places in europe they don't have cas casinos because gambling is obviously as i just said banned which is really interesting to me that that is the case also do you guys see this i just noticed this right now do you see this right here clearly someone at ea i think and it was a sims 3 late night where they allowed you to adjust the height of objects on the walls and um, clearly someone at EA got a little bit carried away with that tool because <laughs> late night, I mean, Generations was in between late night and um, pets. So I, I, I guess they just wanted to use that feature. But anyway, here they are, Hesper and Connor back out here. Oh my God, they're so cute together. I love you too. Look at them looking at the stars. It's so beautiful. This lighting mod by Frozen Wolf, uh, burnt waffles frozen waffles it's called the frozen lighting mod though so i guess i got tongue-tied but the frozen lighting mod by burnt waffles makes my makes my sunrises my sunsets and my skies just so beautiful 
absolutely gorgeous. Okay, you guys, really, you didn't even finish, they didn't even finish the interaction. They totally just canceled it like halfway through. Okay. So, spur of the moment, Hesper is going to pull out a plastic ring from his inventory and he's going to propose to Connor because he's decided through this date that he loves Connor and he wants to spend the rest of his life with him. Oh, how cute. I, I'm so glad I made Connor. Like, I'm, I'm happy that I made a sim for Hesper instead of us, like, waiting for a random townie to end up being gay. Um... Even though they- I don't know if he actually thinks that, like, Connor is attractive or not. I never checked that, which I probably should have, but it's kind of hard because I have a re retuned attraction system. It's kind of hard for me to find sims that my other sims are attracted to, but when you do, you know that, like, that sim is made for your sim. Like, the townie is made for your sim. So, all right, anyway. Here we go. He's gonna go and propose marriage here. He's gonna get down on one knee. He's gonna kneel. He's gonna be like, Connor, I have a question to ask you. This is really spur of the moment, but will you marry me? Connor's like, oh my god, oh my god, Hesper, of course, of course, I love you. Oh, congrats, guys. I am so happy for you. Oh, how cute. Okay, so I'm gonna have these two, um... Oh my god, he wants to get married to Connor! Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna lock that wish in. I'm gonna actually have them end the date because they have been together all day, by the way. It's 12.30 at night. I think it's about time that we uh, have have Hesper head home. And yes, they had a really amazing day together, as expected, because obviously they got freaking engaged. I mean, how would it not be a good date if they were getting engaged, you know what I mean? How's Traveler doing? He's starving. He is starving. Oh, why is he not sleeping next to his dad? What is happening? Wait, why are you guys- Why did- She's still on him. Like, dude, dismount him. It's time to- It's time for him to go to bed. What is happening? Okay. Um, did Fiona even take care of- No, she didn't make, milk the cow today. It's just one in the morning. She's just now milking the cow. I'm gonna have her go and collect the eggs as well. Uh, why is everyone and their mother up? Okay, you're gonna just get woken up by your sister. So I'm gonna have her go and sleep for the time being over here on the couch. And then Rags will go up to Iris and give her a little bottle. Because... She needs to eat, I think. Yeah, she needs to eat. And I know you're trying to take care of the baby. No, you need to come over and take care of this baby over here. Why is Buckley still here? I'm so confused. Like, I genuinely think he's starting to live here. Or we should just adopt him at this point. Because, <laughs> I mean, I love the I love the dogs and stuff in the house. And I do want puppies between Daphne and Buckley. Um, but we don't need Buckley in the household to have his puppies. That's, that's the thing. So... I'm thinking of just having these guys get really acquainted and then having them woohoo or something. Wait. Is Buckley a girl? Or do they just not have enough relationship? Wait a second. Hold up. Hold on a second. Hold a darn second. I think Buckley might be a girl. Because why are, are we not able to breed the two dogs together? Hold up. Let me look. Let me take a little look-see, okay? If Buckley's a girl, I'm gonna be fucking shocked, honestly. Um, oh no, Buckley's a male, but he's an elder? Is that why? Is it because he's a- Oh wait, maybe he's neutered. <gasps> I never thought about that. Maybe he's neutered. Oh, I hope he's not neutered. I don't think EA neutered pets, though, like in base game. I think that all the dogs and stuff are unneutered, so- they shouldn't be neutered, I don't think. Traveler and Fiona haven't really bonded. Traveler doesn't seem to miss. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so is he like happy now? Let's see. Oh, brand new friends. Traveler and Fiona have really bonded. Traveler doesn't seem to miss his mother quite much anymore. I'm going to take a screenshot of this because um, on the Sims 3 Reddit, people are like posting a lot of Sims 3 pet stuff. And I think that a lot of people forget about this feature that comes with the sims 3 pets i don't think that a lot of people uh play with baby horses foals i don't i don't know why i said baby horses i don't think they play with foals that much so um i think this would be a really cute photo to like upload to the sims 3 reddit because people need to remember how cute and how much stuff you can actually do with the foals all right i'm happy i'm really happy that they bonded which is really good because uh, Aster is getting old and I, I want him to be able to retire and like live in in peace and stuff And I don't think it's very fair to him that he has to keep like ex over exerting himself. Of course like horses 
aren't like um i know in the sims 4 elders get tired really really quickly like if you have an elder even work out for like a minute they get deathly exhausted and they can actually die from exhaustion elders can die from exhaustion why are you making food at why is this cat on the counter again shoo him off her off sorry but uh it's not like that for it's not like that in sims it's not like that in sims 3 at all like any age can um any age can work out and stuff like that so i'm gonna have him scold him for jumping on the counter like that okay stop cooking guys you can eat in the morning go to sleep it's time for bed it's time for bed okay it's time for bed everyone all right she's gonna wake up and go and sleep in her bed um it looks like iris is actually in a really good mood so she shouldn't wake up by her little sister okay i'll go scold her really quickly and then you can head up to bed you don't have a job or anything so it's it's fine oh he's hissing at him oh my god harper that was rude Harper's so rude. What the hell? She, he's like, don't jump up on there. How dare you? Is she adventurous? I think it... No, she's not even adventurous. I don't know why she did that. But she clearly is not enjoying... Eh, you can be playful. I don't care if you be, be playful. I won't encourage nor will I... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I will not discourage nor will I en encourage the playfulness. Although I feel like it can be kind of annoying when they're like being playful and running around the house at 90 miles an hour. All right. Uh, everyone's asleep right now, so that's nice. <laughs> uh, he lost friends. I don't know who, who he lost friends with. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, he lost friends with Diamond. Right. I saw that message in the in the corner. Which is kind of sad because Diamond is his son after all. But he doesn't live with us like Traveler does, so I don't really mind that they lost. How do we go inside? Oh, he is napping inside. I totally didn't realize that he was napping with his dad. Okay. That's perfect. I just took a drink of my green tea latte from starbucks uh, i mentioned this in the last episode because I, I by the way i backlog record i record two episodes every other day damn this cat is on the counter again god damn it wake up and scold her i don't it kind of bothers me because in real life my cats aren't allowed to go on the counter because that's kind of gross like it really bothers me when I find, like, cat hair in my in my food and stuff. It, like, really does bother me. Although, I know, I know, like, I don't yell at my cats, like, get the fuck up. Like, I'm not like that, okay? I understand that, that it's a cat's natural curiosity to jump up on the counter. Um, it, I don't have, like, an aneurysm over scolding them, but I, like, obviously I pick them up and take them, put them on the floor, but, um, it bothers me a lot, though, when I find cat hair and dog hair and stuff in my, in my food. It just grosses me out i and i know <sighs> who has the cockatoo or the macaw nobody has it did someone eat the fucking thing again where are these things going where are the pets going i'm so confused he can like put him in can you put him in there no can't so where is my macaw going i would love to know because we also lost our last like a uh, bird in here and i think it was because of the dogs or the cat i don't think it was the cat i think it was the dogs but maybe it was buckley buckley has been hanging around here and stuff look at him sleeping outside damn this dog i think we just need to like adopt him or something because he's been here for like three days straight like i i think i had rags or something invite him to stay inside and um oh my god she's pissed because her sister woke her up understandable i'll have hesper come in come inside here just because he's on like the same level as the baby i probably in hindsight i probably should have put the parents up here and then hesper downstairs that would make a lot more sense but i guess i just wasn't thinking but my bad okay i know you're tired but you can go and take a shower because i know you need to um i would be so upset if i were eleanor right now like i'd be so mad i'd be like oh my god mom and dad why won't you give me my own room so i don't have to deal with iris anymore it's understandable, okay? It's understandable. I feel like I could definitely split this bedroom up, though. But once Iris ages up to a child, I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. Uh, I think that everything will be okay. But <laughs> the, the downside is that Eleanor is going to be a teenager, because it is her birthday today. She's going to be a teenager, and her younger sister is going to be just barely aging up to a toddler. Because I think, yeah, they share the same birthday, so... We'll definitely throw them a birthday party, um, but it's going to be, the age differential is quite large, so 
I'm pretty sure on this trajectory, by the time Iris ages up to a child, I think Eleanor is going to be almost a young adult, which is insane that there is that much of an age difference. You know what I mean? Crazy, just crazy. Okay, uh, we not we need to buy a large barrel of hay because I keep realizing that these horses are hungry, and I know that they can just eat in their, um, they can just eat in their pen, but I don't like that. I mentioned this, I think it was in the last episode, or maybe it was this episode. I think it's a giant cop out having using this this pen as a food source because you can have them eat hay and you can have them drink in here but then why did i buy a trough why did i buy a giant barrel of hay like i feel like they sh definitely should not be able to eat hay and drink in here because there's i'm not maintaining this you know what i mean like i'm not replacing the hay and the water in here it's just an infinite like food source so it's kind of annoying uh that that is an option i, I wish there was a mod that would remove that but and then i would like actually have to maintain them because at this point I could never replace this water. You don't even have to replace it in the first place, but I could never even touch this pen because I think you can clean it out. Um, yeah, you can clean the pen. I don't know what, what cleaning it does, but maybe it does replace it. But I feel like I've never had to replace this, this hay and this water in here. So why am I even buying a trough? Why am I even having her like waste her time and scatter hay? You know what I mean? So it just feels like a total cop out to me. And I feel like that's why I don't use the pens a lot. Although I do like the pens cause you, I mean, you need the pens to have your Sims uh, woohoo for like puppy, or puppies, what? <laughs> I meant foals, not puppies. Uh, all right, I'm gonna like rags up because he's the one with the most energy. He's gonna go outside. At, it's Iris and Eleanor's birthday too. So it is a Sunday. So we could probably have like a midday birthday or something. Maybe we should throw it at like a park or whatever. Maybe like the cat park. No, not the cat park. The fuck? <laughs> Maybe the dog park. Although the dog park... Wait, this is the dog park. Why is the cat park bigger than the dog park? Does anyone else find that weird? How the dog park is smaller? I've never really um, gone to this park before because I just don't think there's there's that much to do here. There's like a bathroom for humans. There's some pet beds. This is such a weird area. Why would you have your Sims sleep? Or why would you have your animals sleep at like a public park? That's so weird. I could see maybe that working out for like a storyline of like a lost dog. If you wanted to kind of like intentionally make like a lost dog, then that would make a lot of sense. But I don't think animals get lost. I think the only way that they get taken away is um, by like uh, protective services. If you don't feed them, or if they, I don't know if they, if their social goes down. Because I know in Sims Four, but don't quote me on this, because I've I've literally played Sims Four pets more than I played Sims Three pets. Like I mentioned before, I do not like pets in the Sims Three. I think that they're really uh, clunky. I don't like how you have to like be so precise about the routing for them. I think it's kind of shitty. Um, but so that's why I play Sims 4 pets more than I play Sims 3 pets. But I know in Sims 4, if you don't pay attention to the dog or the cat for like a really long time, like two days or something, then they actually will leave. Like they'll escape and they'll run away. But obviously in Sims 3, I don't think that that can happen, although it might be able to. And I think it's the same in Sims 2. I think that they can run away if you don't pay much attention to them. I know if you have a really bad relationship with teenagers, actually, um, in Sims in Sims 2, they'll run away. So it's interesting. Nothing screams out, I'm a horse, like a great big whiny. Your horse wants to show the world <laughs> what's what with a whiny. That's so cute. <laughs> I love the little descriptions. That's one of my favorite things about The Sims is like the descriptions of items and stuff. It's really cute. All right, it's time to wake up guys. Like it has been a while. It has been a while. You have been sleeping all night and I am ready for the day to begin. So I'm going to wake up uh, Fiona. She's going to go and grab some leftover waffles. I'm going to have Eleanor grab some leftover waffles and then um, I'm just gonna have everyone eat the waffles because we have so many in the fridge because I keep making them so we can get rid of some of these eggs that are sit just chilling in the fridge from our uh, chicken coop. What is the problem? Why can't you chew this? Like, this is what I'm saying with the- oh, she did eat it. What? Or chew it. That was so weird. Okay. Strange. You need to go and use the litter box. There we go. All right. Rags has a- what is it gardening in because i'm they're eventually gonna move into grandpa's grove obviously i could not see fiona in anything 
but a farmhouse that just seems really strange to me because it's like in her character to live in a farm because that's just where she's born and raised you know and she chooses to call home <laughs> uh she wants to beg for food from fiona now fiona i feel like would not give into that but prove me wrong i guess prove me wrong all right so he's cleaning up his dishes let's have fiona go out and uh she's gonna go and harvest the eggs she's gonna go feed her chickens and uh, i'm gonna scatter some hay here really oh my god no 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 don't eat from that don't eat from that oh he's grazing okay that's fine because <laughs> this little block of hay right here is not meant for them to eat this is like a decor object that i totally meant for that to be a decor object never meant for them to go and eat this but they will they'll occasionally like snack on it and i'm like what the hell is going on here <laughs> all right so Rax improved his um, skill, his his gardening skill up, and someone's calling him on the phone, so I'll have him answer his phone here. I think he can answer it while he's holding the baby. I don't think that should be a problem. Fiona picked up five eggs. Jesus, that's a lot of eggs. Oh, Eleanor, you're gonna wake up now, buddy. I'm sorry. I know. Oh, no, she's not. That was weird. Enter dish. No, I'm not gonna enter any dish. All right. We can put her back and then i'm gonna have him go to his phone and he's gonna actually throw a birthday party now we're gonna throw this for as soon as possible and i think that'll be around 12 p.m um i'm gonna do a noon birthday party i don't do a lot of like afternoon birthday parties i realize that i tend to do them especially during the week i definitely tend to do them all towards the nighttime, like towards like the automatic age up time like 5 p.m usually um and that's because i don't know why but i just i just do that that's just what i do all right so let's go we're gonna throw a birthday party 12 p.m it's gonna be casual attire let's, let's invite you and george megan soleil let's just invite all the bells why don't we and let's see um connor uh trent wherever he is where's trent trent is yeah, there he is he's a teenager now which is perfect for eleanor because she's also a teenager i feel like they could definitely be in a relationship i guess we'll have to see when 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 he gets here because are we all already gonna have some romance for for Eleanor is a question like is she already gonna have a boyfriend I'm so shook my sims never really have boyfriends when they age up to um, from children to teenagers but I guess we'll see she's gonna scatter some more hay I'm just gonna do it like two more times because these horses freaking go through this like it's no one's business okay you can come out of the pen now and go and eat over there um what are you doing follow oh <laughs> so cute he's following her around Ah, I love I love the relationship between the horses and like their owner. This is this is father. This is mother. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so the first guest has arrived at the party actually, and Eleanor is not even up. She's just waking up, just barely waking up right now. It is time though. It is go time. So, all right, wake up. You gotta wake up too, buddy. It's like noon. It's I threw this party really really early. I like to try to throw it as soon as possible because I want to make sure that we have enough time in this episode to get um it done it all done oh listen a compliment oh he's like complimenting our house or something okay promote restaurant you know what you can yeah go and promote the restaurant to him because you're kind of friendly with him so did he like it oh yeah he says he'll head over there right away perfect amazing oh, wait invite what is happening um talk about wealth <laughs> wait what does he like to do cooking all sims have cooking skill because they all need to cook what is his occupation i never really like committed it to memory oh he's not into it actually you know what i'm gonna cheat and i'm gonna look on the family tree what is your occupation he is a patrol officer okay cool actually i do remember when he was uh when he was younger like giving him that um law enforcement lifetime wish so that makes sense to me okay well that wouldn't mean he would need logic skill but i see no logic skill here maybe he has fishing skill i don't i don't fucking know oh you one's here hey you one this is uh rags's best friend isn't it interesting how Yuan is like one of the most attractive sims I think we've ever had in this leprosy and Rags is like really close second to being very attractive. Isn't that cool? All right. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Um, let's have her come over to Megan. She'll go and give her uh, enthusiasm about horses. Let's have her come over and just give her mom a little hug here. And then once Eleanor is done, she's trying to drink some juice here, but that is clearly not working out. Okay, go and have some waffles. I think, yeah, 
Rat or Hesper got over there fine. I don't know. Oh, there's actually some food on the table already. I probably should have had her just go and grab that, but it's fine. It's whatever. All right, she can just eat leftovers. We we have so many leftovers in the fridge anyway. It's like no one's business. I really do need to get rid of them. Okay, so let's have uh, Rags go and grab Iris, and then we will go and age her up, and that should be fine. Are these two chatting? Rags is carpool. No, he still has time off, I thought. I think he still does. Yeah, he has two days off from, from work because of the um, wedding, the wedding time off, so... All right, well, why is this cat on the counter again? I'm going to shoo him off again. Is uh, Buckley still here? Is that that dog's name, Buckley? I think he still is here. Look at these two interacting back here. I feel like Traveler is going to be a really, really beautiful horse when he ages up to being an adult, and I'm really happy about that. Let's check. What is this untrained? Your horse requires more relationship to saddle or ride them. Your horse receives a price penalty if you're selling the horse. Your sim, your horse cannot be borrowed by other sims. Oh, that's interesting. I thought untrained would mean that it'd be harder to train them, but I guess not. It appears that Buckley left actually, which is nice because he was here forever. And I feel like, I don't know. I feel like that freaking dog was, who bought a wedding cake? <laughs> um guys wrong party wrong type of party <laughs> i've never seen a sim bring a wedding can i sell it no i can't because like someone else brought it which makes sense okay that makes sense but that's so weird that out of all the items in this game someone brings a fucking wedding cake all right so we're going to have uh him come downstairs he's gonna go and bring iris to the cake i think it should be him bringing her because he has her in his arms currently so oh no hesper was trying to do it okay interesting maybe i'll have him go downstairs and just put her set her on the floor okay what is this juice eleanor miss eleanor eleanor rigby please go and clean that up there we go all right so he's gonna bring her downstairs um and then whoever grabs her grabs her i guess oh my god there's like a toy on the floor and can't get through I enjoy that the sims are, like, interacting, though. Like, uh, sometimes I have parties and the sims don't even talk to one another. <gasps> Here's Trent, guys. Here's Trent. So, uh, in a couple, or, sorry, a few episodes ago, we actually had, I think it was the episode where Rags and Fiona got married. She autonomously, Eleanor, like, autonomously brought home Trent. And I thought it was super cute that she was trying to, like, show her her wedding to one of her friends i don't know why but i just i like that a lot all right well no one even aged up you one why are you trying to leave go and age up iris please there we go put down iris someone's trying to grab her i don't know who though why oh my god where are you going where are you this is driving me absolutely up the wall so someone is trying to come over and grab her i think it's hesper yeah why is hesper the one that is trying to grab her i literally don't know oh daphne <laughs> daphne and fiona are back here She's just brushing Daphne out. How cute is that? Well, um, I would, I like that and all, but you need to pee and your daughter needs to age up. So I'm going to have her run to the bathroom. I don't know if she'll make it. I hope she makes it because if she doesn't, then she's going to get publicly disgraced because she is a celebrity, but I think she should make it inside before she pisses herself. She has 30, 30 sin minutes, which is not too much. All right. Did she grab the, yeah, he grabbed the baby. So that's fine. Um, I would like Eleanor to age up like any day now. That'd be really great, but if it doesn't happen, then it just doesn't happen, you know? No, we're gonna, she's gonna age up no matter what. Okay, go use this toilet. She might not catch up Iris's birthday. Uh, no, 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 you have to go use the bathroom. Like, I don't think she's actually gonna make- Trent! Trent! Trent is blocking me! Oh my god, Rags is blocking me. She's gonna pee herself. She's gonna- You know what? Just fuck it. Fuck it. Just pee yourself. Pee yourself at your daughter's birthday party. Whatever. Whatever. Yep. She just peed herself. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh my god, how could you do that? <laughs> rags is like the only one that's enjoying the birthday party and eleanor too she's like yep just just another day another dollar my mom peeing herself no big deal no biggie all right well here is iris aging up and then we definitely need to go and age up eleanor like that's the big that's the big birthday for today um so there we go wow what a party i think i'm all partied out what everyone's leaving including trent no trent stay no i want him to stay so that they can have like a little romantic moment damn it well iris aged up and i'm excited to see what she ends up looking like i'm gonna delete this birthday cake and then replace it down oh daphne daphne no exit that out so that i can 
so that no one grabs a piece because everyone will try and grab a slice and it's like super annoying okay and then we're gonna go sorry i'm like switching in and out of build and buy i don't mean to do that all right then we're gonna go in age up eleanor like this is the more important birthday i would say so come over here eleanor you're gonna go and you're gonna age up right now so congrats eleanor is having a birthday come one and all oh she's like screaming her head off okay go try and change her diaper quickly so not everyone's like freaking out and having this crying baby mood lip all right yes pure chaos would not be a maddie party without just pure and utter chaos but that's fine there's also a piss puddle on the floor which daphne is firmly standing in and now harper is too and fiona's standing in her own piss puddle but you know what that's okay um rags is here with this little girl how cute and happy birthday eleanor i'm so happy that she is finally aging up like this has been a long time freaking coming that we have been expecting this party or her to age up and especially with trent like i want her and trent to be an item i think so it would only make sense here she goes happy birthday l and because of her success in school, you may choose a trait. And she's bald. <laughs> Lovely. She's going to be ambitious. Perfect. So I'm actually going to change. Once I take her, you know what? We're going to do it right now, actually. First of all, first of all, let me delete this cake so that no one tries to grab some. Because we have a bunch of food. A nice assortment of food over here on the table. It looks like Declan and Soleil are already digging into it. Um, okay, you need to go and take a shower. <laughs> now that we have, like, all the, you know, the festivities out of the way. All the... All the fun stuff um so i'm actually going to go over to eleanor and we're gonna take her and cast here really quickly not only am i gonna quickly put a hair on her um, but i'm also going to change her star quality trait because she's not going to be the heir to the next generation neither is iris i want soleil uh, sorry not soleil ew that'd be gross i was gonna say i want fiona and rags not fiona and soleil ew to have another baby uh i just want them to have a boy so that we can carry on to the next generation now this is completely dependent on whether i can get this clock issue we haven't had the clock issue in this episode thus far so that's nice okay uh let me quickly choose her trait so she's not going to be star quality i'm going to save that trait for the boy that we end up ha having um how about uh she's grumpy loves the outdoors and ambitious i'm gonna randomize like one of her traits she's going to be nurturing okay so she was grumpy let's see she was grumpy 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 let me give her ambitious too because i know that she had that one she was grumpy and what was her last one grumpy ambitious nurturing i put nurturing instead of star quality I, fuck i don't remember what other trait that she had wait what was it grumpy oh loves the outdoors okay so i'm just gonna put in um what the fuck am i trying to do nurturing there we go oh my god i just drew a blank okay so there we go there's her nurturing trait now that was just random i don't know, just pull that on my ass i i tend i kind of jumped the gun there and gave her the uh star quality lifetime reward because i totally forgot that like she wasn't gonna be the heir or like when she was born i thought she was gonna be the heir but that would make this leprosy way too short way 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 too short like she is already a teenager and this is only episode 25 so i gotta kind of slow down put on the brakes here and she can't be the heir because then we would be playing her you know i like to start my leprosies like on the first day of my sims being young and old because then if you do that then the timing tends to work out pretty well but if you start like if i were to start generation six which is showtime with um with eleanor here we would be she would be like really old <laughs> she would be really old when we were to start because I, I plan for this this generation to go until episode 45 so i'm gonna throw some hair on her here really quickly i know my game music got really loud i'm sorry okay i'm sorry there's nothing i can do about it it's just just the lovely sims 3 Maybe I can give her curly hair. I haven't given any of my sims curly hair. Yeah, okay. I haven't used this hair in a really long time, so I think it's about time. It's overdue that I give her it. And I know her outfit is a complete disaster, but I'm going to fix that off camera. Um, but I will keep her hair, and I just wanted to change her trait there really quickly on camera so that you guys knew what I was doing. And of course, I did that because she's not going to be the heir to the next generation, so... I want to save the Showtime related traits. It looks like uh, Jay is aging up, but no one can see him because he's an imaginary friend. So <laughs> it's just Jay just celebrating his own birthday. 
Um, oh, oh, I wanted to take her into cast. I want to take, oh, she has blue eyes. Oh my God. I think she has blue eyes, guys. I really wanted Rags' blue eyes on one of his children. And I am so glad that one of them got it. Oh my God. Oh no, she doesn't. Damn. Well, the good thing about this baby not having blue eyes is that maybe the next kid that Fiona and Rags have, which I'm gonna have him try for a baby in the next part. Um, I only have my Sims try for a baby, one, if they autonomously go and do it, two, if they want to do it. Like if you see how Rags has like obviously a wish to have another baby, I will have them try. Um, but other than that, I don't force them to do anything that they don't want to do, so yeah all right guys thank you all so much for watching this action filled episode it was very fun um i will catch you all in the next one and um hopefully i can fix that <laughs> hopefully i can fix that blues plane so that we don't have to move like i really don't want to move my game has been good this episode so that's something right <laughs> all right guys seriously though thank you all so much for watching i'll catch you all in the next one and peace out